I just want to do a quick once over on this um, Stormtrooper helmet. Um, so basically, one, somebody had mentioned on one of my previous videos that they were interested in um, taking my idea and applying it to this particular style helmet. I guess one of the, either this or one of the other Stormtrooper helmets because I said they didn't think it was loud enough. Um, so I just figured I'd give it a check out myself. I assumed that the speakers were here. I couldn't remember, but they are not. Those are just for show. Um, the speakers on this are actually, or a speaker is actually here. And then it comes with this battery case that covers up as such. But, um, so yeah, comes out back here. It's a little obscure. Um, it's pretty loud on the inside. It seems, it seems sufficient to me. Uh, maybe that person's uh, doing it, using it in a little louder area, but I am not going to make the modification on mine. Um, yeah, cause like I said, um, I'm satisfied with it, but I'll just kind of just do a, a once over. Um, just, I'm sure there's probably reviews out there, but, um, um, I typically am concerned about the amps and stuff like that. Um, again, I, this seemed sufficient to me, but somebody had mentioned that it wasn't sufficient for them. Um, but I'll just kind of hash over um, a little bit about this. Um, it does have a, this button here is your, I guess it does that kind of uh, uh, squawk as if you, if you uh, want to start talking, like push to start and push to stop. Um, so kind of along the lines of the movie, but um, something you should know. So I am an adult man. I've got a little bigger nose than normal, um, and I don't know if that's completely why I had to do this or if that might apply to more folks, but I had to pull out, there's a, there was a nose guard in here that, um, yeah, basically it stuck out too far. I could not, I could not fit this on my face. So I completely removed the nose guard at which was attached to this, which is the microphone. Um, and it works fine now. Um, so I basically run my head all the way up to the top and then just have the strap tightened to kind of keep it a little secure. And that gets my eyes up enough where you can actually see down and not trip over yourself. Um, but yeah, so the only difference is I, I don't have a nose guard in mine. Um, so that may be something you might uh, consider if you if you put this on, you realize uh, it's it's um, smaller than expected, um, but, but it can fit. And that's what I did with mine. Um, again... Uh, yeah, I, I thought the speaker was loud enough, loud enough for me, but, um, yeah, uh, somebody had mentioned previously that they want to, they wanted something louder. So that's just something to consider. That's, uh, just the once over on this bad boy. Um, I guess I can, I can put it on and do it just a little trial to see, have an idea. Uh, I'll try not to screw up the dimensions here. Let me see. How am I going to do this? Okay, you're gonna kind of have that in your in your view, but it is what it is. So here's what it is. Oh, I'm gonna take my glasses off. And I've got I've got great sight right across here. I can see down here and here. So my perspective is pretty good. Of course, it's very nimble. Um, okay, you may not have been able to hear that. Um, I, so basically, I'm able to see down here and here. It's uh, very easy to move around. Um, yeah, I guess since I took the nose thing out, it um, might be a little uh, more wobbly than if I would have kept it in. But uh, it didn't fit me with it in, so it is what it is. I just need to tighten up the head thing more. But now you've got an idea. Uh, this is what it is. This is what it sounds like. And I guess if you terminate your talking, then you could terminate with a little squawk at the end. So that's that. If you found it helpful, uh, feel free to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you like. Take care. I'm out.